Hey folks, I'm going to make this quick video to show you where to fish. If you don't have a boat, this is the paper mill in Roanoke Rapids. This is Main Street in Roanoke Rapids, Roanoke Avenue, or Highway 48. This is the Roanoke Rapids side of the river. You can see it's a good place to park here. Nobody will mess with your stuff. It's a busy highway. A lot of log trucks dropping stuff off at the paper mill. So this is the uh, this is the Gaston Bridge. The other side is where the boat ramp is, the Gaston boat ramp. And uh, this is the Roanoke Rapids side. And uh, they got these steps here. Uh, it used to be just a muddy muddy slope when we were kids. We used to come down here and uh, fish from the bank. Cause we didn't have uh, access to a boat always. So uh, <laughs> it makes it real easy to come down here now with these steps. So you can come under the bridge. I haven't seen anybody fishing down here at this, at this, this place in a long time. I even came down here Saturday and shot some video and uh, there was nobody down here. Everybody's at welding. So you can see this is the Gaston Bridge. You can see the row of pylons here. You can see the gas and boat ramp on the other side. There's no, there's no good places to fish on the Gaston boat ramp side. Not from the bank. It's too shallow, you'll stay hung up. This is the deep side. The fish will hang behind these pylons and school up. Uh, there used to be another bridge here before they built this one. Uh, I think they tore it down in the 70s. So just downstream from this bridge, maybe 50 feet, the foundation of the old bridge is still there. And it creates these eddy currents. And the rockfish love these eddy currents. Kind of breaks up the uh, fast flow and they like to hang out in schools. My advice to be would be throw behind these pylons, let your bait drift down, and then bring it up. You can see here's a nice dead pool of water. A lot of eddy current going on here. And uh, if you watch some of my earlier videos when the river is really low, this is one of my favorite places to fish is right here. So I showed you the steps to get down here. You can come under the bridge here and get back up on top of the bridge without crossing that busy highway by using these steps right here. My advice is to bring your uh, a lawn chair to fish ain't biting. Just uh, hang out. The best time, I think, is first thing in the morning. So you can see my car on the other side. You 
you don't want to park right here they will tow your stuff so you can see the wooden bridge and I'll show you another good place to fish you can see this uh this path right here look at that calm water down there that's deep like I said that's 30 40 50 foot deep there's no trees in your way so you can get a good cast and uh, you can see where I was on Tuesday on the other side this is the mouth of the tail race this is a great place to fish everybody at uh, Weldon uh, there's a lot of people that has never heard of this place and never heard a lot of them don't even know about the gas and bridge or the gas and boat ramp and they've never heard of the tail race so I'm gonna walk down the tail race and show you some more good places to fish without a boat I guess it's about a city block maybe two city blocks on this little trail here before you get a good spot to uh, access some fishing So this is the point at the mouth of the tail race you can see a lot of people leave a lot of trash down here that's a shame you see a boat fishing underneath the bridge where I was just pointing to he's in the honey hole but uh, take a look at this calm water here and it's a little shallower Probably the first hundred feet here, it's maybe 10 foot deep. But you can catch fish here, run your lure right on top of the water. Then about where the big boulder is, it drops off from about 10 or 12 feet down to about 30, 40, 50 feet, depending on how high the river is. Look at this calm water here. I wish I'd have brought my rod. The dam is probably uh, five, six city blocks upstream from this point right here. The rockfish can't go no further. So this is where they spawn in the tail race. And like I said, I'm surprised at the amount of people that I speak to at gas, I mean at Weldon, that's never heard of the tail race. A lot of them, like I said, has never heard of the Gaston boat ramp. But you see a little bit of current in the middle, then it's kind of dead. See these leaves floating, not even moving downstream. I'll show you another spot. You notice how there's no trees in your way when you're standing down here on the bank. You can get you a good cast without getting uh, hung up in the trees. This is deep water. Back in the day, we used to use the half ounce, some people call it a butter bean jig. Uh, around here, we call it a bucktail jig, which is like a, a butter bean shaped piece of lead with painted eyes, and it's got like white deer hair on it. And sometimes we would add a uh, tiny worm, plastic worm trailer. We call it the hairy worm. Another good place to fish. From here, nice trail all the way up to the dam. If you don't catch them at one spot, like I said, bring you a long trail. If you don't catch them in one spot, you can move on down to another spot. 
can see a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of fish breaking. All these rocky points are good places to fish from the bank. Back in the day, this time of year, there'd be a hundred people down here fishing. So it's just like this, all the way up, maybe a sixteenth of a mile till you get to the dam. Some of the biggest rockfish I ever caught were caught in the tail race from the bank using the uh, bucktail jigs. <laughs> 